think of Shannon um, a little bit like a mother hen. She's very much worried about what the participants need and what they're doing. Um, she'll be the first one to say, oh, so-and-so's access ride is here, and she'll go and she'll, she'll retrieve them from class. And if someone's lunch uh, bag isn't attached to the back of their wheelchair or their jacket isn't pulled off the coat rack, she'll be the one to go over and go, oh, so-and-so needs their coat, so-and-so forgot their lunch. I say she's a very kind of, even though she's a tiny woman in terms of stature, she's very much kind of like the mother hen and wants to make sure that everybody's taken care of. It's very noticeable when she's not here. I mean, she, you know, she has a big impact, I think, on this agency. Things run smoother with her. Um, and so just her being here, her presence is missed, like I said, when she's not here. I know I definitely miss her. She helps out so much. I started volunteering at Forbes Regional Hospital in Monroeville, and I'm continuing volunteering at, at the center in, in Oakland. If you choose to volunteer in, in the community, you can go and apply yourself and do your homework on it before you commit to being a volunteer. Shannon's a big help. She helps us set up all of their lunches. Um, if they need anything, if they need something extra, something's going on, she's always available. Um, she helps us out because she comes in, she loves hugs. So we get our hug in the morning and, you know, we get to catch up with each other and she just, she's just a lot of help. She really is. We miss her when she's not here. <laughs> she's a very loving kind of a person. She loves to give everybody hugs. You know, if anything, I know I can count on her to come over and, and say, I, you look like you need a hug and she'll want to give me a hug. Shannon is always very motivated when she comes to work, even especially on Push America Day. She loves to meet the riders and she loves to just sit down and talk with people, regardless of whether they're a participant, a staff member, or someone outside of the organization that comes in for the day. You know what I thought was really cute is when she found out or she thought that she was in the running for this award. And I think for a while she still didn't realize that she was actually getting it. And she was just so excited about it. And I think it still took a while before she realized that she was the one that was actually getting it. And so for me, I thought that that was really cute. It was exciting. She was very happy about it. There are two main events that Shannon takes part in outside of the center. She does the Walk for a Healthy Community that's sponsored by Highmark and Push America. Each year she gets really excited to sponsor one of the Push America cyclists and writes letters and sends little care packages and she's really, really involved with that. With the walk, she walks every year and sometimes helps before the event doing either mailings or items like that. I'm glad that she's getting the award. She deserves it and she's been here for a really long time and I'm just glad that she's being recognized for the work that she does because she comes in here faithfully as a volunteer, not even as a paid member, and she's here working with people and she's just a wonderful help. So I'm very happy that she's getting the award. I want to share this award with my supervisor, Debbie Washington. Um, she really helped me out, out, got me down here. Will you please try to um, get yourself out in the community to different kind of disabilities. If they are different, try to learn and help them to learn. I think everything should try, try, try once. If you don't like it, it's not, I wouldn't do it. I got used to it of being around other people. It's, it's the best thing ever. And it's a awarding too, to be a nominee. Thank you. Shannon Ellie.